miracle workers, angels, The word life takes on new meaning here in the neonatal intensive care unit at Tri-City Medical Center. My first feeling and my first thought was, am I going to have to bury my son or be able to love him? Joshua is a little guy who was born 12 weeks early who's been with us in the unit for about four weeks now and he has encountered the usual challenges of being born early uh, from learning how to breathe on his own to maintain his body temperature on his own and we expect Joshua to be with us for probably another eight to ten weeks. We work days and nights. The hour doesn't matter, two in the morning, one in the afternoon. We are there to help those babies and fortunately the science, technology, and the staff helping physician to help those critical conditions, situations, babies who are very sick, stabilize them fast and then go home. Babies' voices don't have words for us, and so we have to rely on what they're telling us um, by our eyes and our ears, um, and the technology that, that allows us to help um, determine what they can't tell us and it's very much like detective work um, we really have to utilize all our surrounding and um, really the gifts that we've been given as nurses to help determine for that baby who cannot speak to us in words um, what we need to do to help make them better when we did get here with Josh, he was one pound ten ounces. I was very afraid to touch him because he looked so fragile. Um, his feet have grown. Um, he's actually doubled in size thanks to my milk. <laughs> and um, it's just a blessing to see him grow and to see the work that they put into the children. Having a neonatal ICU in the area is close to the parents' resident. They could come and visit so often. They could bring their family. We encourage them to come and do a skin to skin. Mom could breastfeed. For us to have the NICU so close to us is it's like a blessing because we live about five minutes away. I can come day or night and I do make appearances at two in the morning, um, three or four in the morning, and they're always here to help me and comfort me. Um, I could come at one o'clock in the afternoon and look at my child and start crying and there's always a nurse there to comfort me or tell me everything is gonna be okay. It takes many, many uh, staff members to oversee all the uniqueness that our babies bring in the care that they need. The team of people here at the hospital that has helped us has been the social workers, the lactation specialists, the nurses, the doctors, the respiratory care specialists. They have all helped us a lot. Um, I get the most satisfaction working in the NICU, watching the babies grow and develop, and we, working with and teaching the families how to take care of their baby. The nurses are great. They have taught me how to change his diaper, how to take his temperature, how to know what everything on his machines mean, to the point where when he's desetting, I know if I should sit him up or <laughs> rub his back. My primary role in the NICU is to help the infants learn to eat. My job is to come in, I assess their muscle tone, their reflexes, and then their feeding abilities. And then I work with the mothers and the staff on setting up feeding programs for them so that they can learn to eat. It's one of those jobs that when people say, if you could do anything else, what would you do? So I'd do everything again and want this job. I love my job because I love to care for people who have needs. I love to care for those families and parents that are hurting and to be able to calm their fears, to calm their concerns and to be there for them, just to see their smile on their face and um, just how excited they are to be able to, when that day finally comes when they're able to take that baby home and that baby's healthy and well. That's what I love about my job. I was very scared because at the time I learned that we were going to spend an awful lot of time here. I didn't know what was going on with Josh, how he was going to be and the nurses stepped in and they told me that everything was going to be okay, Joshua was going to be just fine. 
Um, they comforted me. They calmed me. Um, they actually set me up with someone that I can talk to about things that I was dealing with with Josh and how I felt. Probably the best way to describe what the social worker does is to advocate for the families. So our role is to work with the families to identify what we think their needs are and more importantly what they think their needs are. And then to make sure that those needs are being met. Whether it be referrals to outside agencies, support here at the hospital, making sure they're comfortable with how we're caring for their child. It just depends on the family and what they think their need is. The way I got past the fear of touching Joshua was I had a nurse named Miss Debbie. She stepped in one day and said, he's yours. <laughs> you have to do it. And then I was able to change his diaper and take his temperature. She assured me that I was not going to hurt him and that he was my child and that I could do all those things with him. And she was just so blunt with me. She just took all my fears away and I jumped right in with both hands. And, and it was still kind of scary because he was so small, but as he's growing now, it's getting easier. I could flip him over and I can pick him up and it, it doesn't bother me. All my fears are gone now. I can take care of him with no problem. It's actually bittersweet sending them home. I love sending them home and knowing that they're gonna do well and having a lot of hope for them. But it's kind of hard to watch them go because when we're in here with them, they're a lot of times like our babies. And um, so you're sending them off into the world. I'm actually going to be sad to take him home because they just love him so much. Um, I think about that day every day, like when I can come and I can take him home. <laughs> and I think that it's going to be hard to take him from here because he gets so much love and care here. If you ever, if anyone ever has a baby here in the NICU, they should always know that their child is going to be taken care of and loved and just taken care of with the, the love that any child that is here needs and deserves. We can't thank them enough. We're so appreciative. They have given me the best gift that anyone could ever give me. It was my little boy, so yeah.